you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee in a match. Just so wise. Bruce Lee enters the octagon with his mind set on one thing tonight, that UFC champion. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Well, what a visual this is. Bruce Lee ready to go for round one, the founding father of modern mixed martial arts. It's hard to simulate his speed and his striking in training. And I think that's something that has been a big focus for the opponent coming in here tonight. Quick with his hands, quick with his feet, and obviously a guy who gets off to a very good start more often than not. Bruce Lee ready to go for round one. Flipped him with the jab. Just misses with the jab there. He got that leg up quick. Beautiful head kick lands. Slicing elbow lands from the punch. Man, not sure if there was a gentleman's agreement for no feeling out. They are getting after it right out of the shoot. No feeling out process. These guys are here to end this fight quickly. Frantic pace early on to this one. hip over when he throws that kick. Keep your hands up. Nice body kick there. Until he blocks it, you better keep throwing those body kicks. Oh, nice land with the knee. You see the taller fighter having no issue getting the limb to the target there. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He certainly has that part of his game going tonight. He's a fantastic kickboxer, but tonight is the kicks that lead the dance. Lee gets caught by the straight punch. Another shot to the head. Oh, that one landed, yep. Just like that. And there's that inside leg kick. Shoot. Just over three minutes to go, round one. Side kick is there. A oh, little single collar tie there. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. Oh, thwack, that is a solid kick right there. And there he goes, lands another combination. His cardio is so good that, is, that it allows him to put forth this type of output and pace. When his opponent is done at two, he is stringing together four, five, six more different strikes. You don't do that without having fantastic cardio. Lead left by Lee. What does he do now that he has this clinch position? Beautiful shot to the leg. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Well, now these kicks are really starting to pile up since he found his range. This could be trouble. Oh, that jab alerted his opponent. Heavy body kick lands. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Oh. Nice crack there. And that spinning kick out, it's home up top. The fighters separate. Oh, and he lands another huge knee there as the taller fighter uses his length well yet again. And he lands that side kick. Oh, and he lands another combination here, really starting to get into a striking group. I mean, it's stringing them together so effectively, never doing the same attack more than once. What a job to recognize all the openings in his opponent's defenses. Oh, perfect head kick there. 
Oh, nice right hand by the champ. Yep. Body kick lands. Certainly showing off some good hands here tonight. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Nice block. Oh, big punch lands. 30 seconds now to go in the opening round. Oh, he's got the single collar locked in the clinch now. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment, John. It may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do eventually, it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. Let us now get you some replays from that previous round. Big part of the narrative, of course, those devastating kicks to the body. Yeah, he's in the right stance to throw that kick to the body. And you see now his opponent starting to carry his hands really low. Look for him to go over the top. Now that he's got, a, he's got him set up the way he wants him. You ready to fight? Ready. Second yeah. round underway. All right, so the next round is underway. Will it be more of the same? And by that, I mean all of those strikes to the body. You got to think at some point the opposition is going to lower that guard or get finished. And that's exactly what he is hoping for. All those great body shots, all that damage he's putting on his opponent will force an opening up top where he will look to finish. Effective jab there by Lee. Well, the more things change, the more they stay the same. He continues to land a high volume of strikes on his opponent at will. Well, I mean, John, the guy can fight everywhere. And he can fight everywhere, meaning he can fight on the ground. He can fight in the Oh, you got to keep pressing here. Could be the beginning of the end. Massive head kick. These boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. Again, going back to the jab, just out of range. Lee gets absolutely pelted by that head kick. Man, the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. Hands higher, hands higher. Huge block there. He's got to move his head. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Just over three minutes now to go in round two. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. Strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Now he has found his timing. He is doling out punishment here. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Two minutes now to go in round two. Oh, wow. How about the roundhouse kick? Straight right, he misses. Oh, perfect combination. Up, 
Beautiful jab there by the champ. Oh, he heard it bad with the jab. All right, so the redness is omnipresent now. He has absorbed a whole lot of body strikes. Pretty good poker face, but I'm not sure how many more of these he wants to take. No, he doesn't. He needs to do something different. He cannot continue to get beat up like this. But it's on his opponent. It's on the guy that is landing these strikes to continue down the path until he makes you change something. Do this over and over because it seems like this is your easiest path to victory. Decent right hook attempt, but it's no good. Looks like that one landed. Beautiful body kick. Well, DC, no denying he's winning this fight. And it's got to feel pretty good if you're a fighter. You put in the work, and it all comes together on fight. When it all comes together, nothing feels better to go out there and implement the game plan that you guys have worked on in training camp, and it goes as desired. Nothing feels better. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. Leading now, nasty cut on his nose. Wow, huge head kick. All right, gets inside, gets the single collar tie here. Pretty good execution for him there on the sidekick, DC. Just really feeling some real traditional martial arts techniques that are making their way to the UFC's office. Back in the clinch. Look for him to hang on his opponent's head All and right. try to wear at his gas tank. Ten minutes in the books. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, so now we have some real adversity. There's a cut on the nose. Hard to know if that's impacting the breathing, but some definite damage in that previous round. Yeah, some real damage. And now when you get a cut like that, that is in a bad spot. Because every time you get hit on the nose, it's so jarring. And then the blood starts to go down into the mouth. He's got an uphill battle ahead of him. You ready? You ready? Go. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Is now underway. Do you see any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. Nice execution on the team. Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Cut man's gonna have some work to do if we get to the stool between rounds. But that's why we got the best in the business. We got the best cut men in the business, and they are going to need him right now because this cut is getting worse, and it's only gonna continue to get worse because he has got a killer in front of him. Nice loop and punch. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other DC. Yes, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that both guys would be very evenly matched in this fight. But we didn't expect to see this type of war between these two guys. You cannot take those leg kicks clean like that. But he needs to check one of these kicks. He has to discourage him from throwing this kick over and over again. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Beautiful. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Oh, roundhouse kick. Style points on that one. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Let your hands go. There it is, another strike to the body. That has been a big storyline in this fight. We'll keep an eye on it as the bout continues. You know, we'll keep an eye on it. But the person that should be addressing it is his opponent. His opponent isn't doing anything to, to deter him from doing this constantly. He has got to change something if he wants to fight this fight and win this fight. So we have passed the midway point in the fight. Oh, big head to land. 
Oh, nice. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. Oh, nice job to block that punch. Push kick there to the body. Just turning his hip over into the leg kick. Oh, beautiful knee to the body by him there. Again, we talked off the top about his size advantage, and he put it to good use there. Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of time. He's doing a great job being accurate, but he's also very fast. Look at the hand speed. Right. Big knee lands to the body. These are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold. And it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know, know when, when to hold him. Yep, absolutely. Go. Nice leg kick. Oh, oh nice, nice hook. He closes the distance beautifully. He's got a single collar tie. Eats a jab there. All right, so now his body language really starting to change and the bruises starting to accumulate on that side. I mean, you're looking at it, right? When you can visibly see the damage on the body, you know that the work has been done. What a beautiful game plan put together by this team. Man, these guys have some chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. Final seconds of round three. Guess the single collar tie now. All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship round. All right, listen, man, you're doing great, okay? I want more of the same. This guy can't do anything to you anywhere. You are controlling the entire fight. Stay sharp, don't get all right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights he has had, his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead, and I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, here's round four, fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, here we go. The tension is palpable. Fourth round is underway. You've got a thing or two to say about these championship rounds. The fourth round is easily the hardest round in fighting. You're so used to fighting up to three. You gotta get back off of that stool, and this is a real test of your will and desire to win a fight. Establishing the jab here. Oh, nice little right hook there. Oh, back and forth to go. Well, he's always working off of that jab. Nice jab there by Lee. And do a work with the jab. Right there. He has a really good sidekick. He's so fast at doing that technique, and there is no tell when he attempts that certain strike. He's throwing these punches in combination, really dictate the pace to his opponent. Oh, inside kick. Lee's body continues to get bruised up on that right side, courtesy of the body kicks and the body work from his opponent. Better make an adjustment soon as this fight continues. Not sure how many more of those he can take. Relax, relax. Keep your hands up for me now. Just over three minutes to go. 
Big shot to the head. Oh, and he found the target again. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, great head movement there. Slips his head off the center line, and defensively, that's exactly what you're looking for. It's almost like he can telegraph when the punch is coming, and when he sees it, he just makes a slight little movement, right or left, to get out of the way and avoid those shots. Tags him with the uppercut. Keeping busy now, connecting with those punches. Oh, lands another beautiful strike to the body, really starting to connect at will when it comes to work in the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him. Oh, that's the biggest shot in the fight thus far. How's his opponent still stand? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. He went high on that one. So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Got to capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. You don't get them as often as you'd like. So when you get a guy hurt, you got to find a way to finish the fight. What a fight. What a display of physical and mental toughness on both sides. I'm not sure who's more injured, but they're both hurt for certain. Yeah, John, they're both beat up. But I think that is the key. The mental is what's gonna allow you to get your hand. He's got him hurt. He's got him hurt looking to finish. Oh, with authority, the body. Three, two, three. Body kick is blocked. Tries to work it into a takedown. Under a minute to go. Big power shot there. Big clinch position. Watch him get busy with that other hand. Jab snaps the head back. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Well, you thought the cut man did his job, but that cut on the nose is just nasty, and it is pouring blood now. 20 seconds to go. Oh, nice. Final seconds here. Five to go. All right, so the fighter heads back to the stool, and man, that is a severe cut that he's dealing with. We'll see if they call in the ringside physician. It's only gonna get worse. You have to be smart with your All right, let us re-rack some replays of the damage done in that round, see if we can isolate the strike that caused the cut. Yeah, a nasty cut opens up when he lands there. It's a beautiful shot that gets to the target. He has not been responsible defensively, and he's really paying for it, because now he's dealing with that nasty cut. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. It is the fifth and final round. Able to check that kick as well. Oh, man, that cut not in a good place. And it's not getting any better. Nice jab by Lee. He's got the single collar time. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Heavy kick downstairs. Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Nice jab by Lee. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. It got checked. 
Unable to connect with the right hand there. Lee gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Lands a nice leg kick. All right, so a good series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully, I think, on the feet tonight. He is kicking everywhere tonight. He's doing a fantastic job. Trying to find a home for that right hand. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Watch out, that left is coming right behind that jab now. Quick jab lands there. If you're gonna go out, go out on your shield. If you're going out, go out on your shield. Don't just walk backwards. Go forward. Make him fight you. Lee shot is blocked. All right, so the body attacks continue to be the story in this fight, and looking really bad at this point in time, DC. Toughness only goes so far. And, and why do we have to rely on the toughness? I think right now we are in a position where the team has to start taking a look where the official has to start taking a look. Because sometimes you gotta save the fighter from themselves. Oh, lands a nice straight. Some beautiful kick lands. All right, single collar tie now. In the tie clinch, look for the knees to start. Oh, good job defensively there to block the strike by Lee. Under two minutes now to decide this one. Ooh. Oh, you land, I land is how we're doing here. Lands the right hand over the top. Straight punch. Misses with the jab. Lee's nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move, you got to shrimp, you got to get up on a hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. Get the ball here. One minute to go. Are right, working on the ground here, his opponent's feet on the hips. Oh, this is getting kind of hard to watch, right? He targets the cut and lands a strike right on. Oh, lead hook by Lee. What a beautiful jab landing there. 30 seconds now to go in the fight. Fighter lands a kick to the leg now, and a pretty good one at that. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're gonna be able to do much with that cut. It continues to widen with every passing stroke. And you're fighting a great fighter. It's hard to deal with the damage of the cut while dealing with the level of the fight. Oh, just a nasty leg kick, that one hurt, that's hard to reach. I mean, he is throwing those kicks with evil intent. He is trying to break his leg with every oh. single kick. Well, what a title fight it was, what a showcase it was for this division, but at the end of the day, the champion just did a little bit more, and you gotta think he gets the nod, right? I believe it was the championship experience that allowed him to push through in those spots that he needed to in order to keep his championship. I agree with you, J.A. I think he keeps his belt. We'll see how the judges saw it. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest 50 45. Played the winner by unanimous decision. And still, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon.
So the legend Bruce Lee does it again. That was a prime performance out of the martial arts legend tonight. This man, of course, has had no short.